suppose at point C just left it is minus point 2, point 2 will be somewhere over here at point C. Okay. Again what is the loading? It is a vertical load. So, we have to drawing both the points. Then shear force at point B again minus point 2, no load between B and C, it will be a horizontal line. Shear force at point A just right positive 3.8, positive 3.8 somewhere over here. What is the loading? It is a uniformly distributed load. So, for uniformly distributed load, we have to draw a inclined line and shear force at point A just left 0. What is the load? Support reaction. So, it will be a vertical load. So, we have to draw a vertical line. We have to show the confinement of shear force as it is above the baseline positive, as it is below the baseline negative. Show the ordinates. Now, you can see in this particular diagram one thing that we had not seen in our cantilever problem. What is that? It is seen that shear force value is 0 at one particular point, which is that particular point where the shear force value is 0, this point, right. It is intersecting at the baseline. So, I do not know at which point this value is 0 and we also know that the point at which the shear force value is 0 there the bending moment value is generally maximum. So, I have to locate this particular point where the shear force is 0. So, I can assume this as x. Now, this whole UDL it is of 2 meters. If this is x, what will be this distance? This will be 2 minus x. Okay. Now, what is basically uniformly distributed load? I think we have studied but I will just re, uh, recall it back. It is a load which is distributed uniformly per meter length. That means, per meter length it will have constant loading. So, I can take this as triangle 1 and this as triangle 2, the small one, right. And I can equate these two triangles because it is what type of loading? Uniformly distributed load. And I can equate both the triangles vertical and horizontal ordinates. So, I can say that triangle 1 is equal to triangle 2. Now, triangle 1 vertical ordinate is 3.8 and its horizontal ordinate is 2 minus x. Similarly, triangle 2 vertical ordinate is 0.2 and its horizontal ordinate is x. Why we are equating? Because it is UDL. And for UDL, the loads are uniform per meter line. So, we can equate both the triangles. So, 3.8x is equal to 0.2 into 2 minus x. So, we can get the value of x. So, what will be the value of x? So, 0.2 into 2, okay that is 0 0.4. So, 3.8 minus 0 0.2 that is 3.6. So, 3.6 x. So, x that is equal to 0 0.4 divided by 3.6, uh, 3.8. So, that gives us 3.8 0.4 divided by 3.6, it is 0.1. So, we get x value as 0.1 meter, right. So, this point I can transfer in my load diagram, okay. So, I will have to calculate the value of bending moment at this point and you will find that the value of bending moment will be maximum at this point. Okay. So, this point we have calculated as 0 0.1 meters. Okay. Now, we have to calculate the bending moment for the following load. So, what are the points I told you to remember? The first is 
sign convention is hogging and sagging. Sagging is taken as positive, hogging is taken as negative. Second is we have to calculate bending moments at A, B, C, D. Third is we do not have to go for just right, just left for bending moment. Only when the couple is acting at that time we have to calculate bending moment just at right and just at left. Okay? So, to start with bending moment at point D, put your hand on section D and see on the right side no force to produce moment. So, it will be 0. Then bending moment at point C. So, again put your hand on section C and see on the right side how many forces there? Only one force that is V D. So, V D that is equal to how much? 5.2 and what is the perpendicular distance up to point C? 1. 5.2 into 1. Okay? Now, how will it rotate? So, it will try to rotate like this and try to push the beam in the downward direction. So, what is this called when the convexity is found below? It is called as sagging and sagging is taken as what? Positive. So, it will be plus. Okay? Then bending moment at point B. So, put your hand at point B and see on the right side how many forces are there? Two force. First is V D. So, 5.2 into what is the distance up to point B? 1 plus 1 that is 2. Sagging, so positive and second is 5 kilo Newton. So, what is the distance up to point B? 1 and it will rotate like this. Okay? So, when it is rotating like this, beam will be lifted upwards. So, convex it is formed above the baseline. So, it will be hogging and negative. So, this will be hogging and negative. So, what is our answer? 5.2 into 2 that is 10.2 and minus 5. So, that will be equal to 5.4 and what is the unit for moment? Kilo Newton meters. Okay? Then bending moment at section x. Now, this is very important. I will draw a separate diagram for bending moment at section x or for the right side. I will put my hand over here and I will draw. This is our beam over here small UDL okay? and this distance is nothing but x and what x we had calculated? 0.1. What is the loading of this UDL? It is 2 kilo Newton per meter. Okay? After that we reach the point B. After point B we come to point C and point B and C distance is 1 meter and over here we have got a load of 5 kilo Newton and then after again 1 meter we reach our support reaction and that is nothing but V D of value 5.2. So, what I have drawn? I have drawn the section x x right side. Now, I have to take the moment of all these forces about x x. So, we start with first is 5.2 into what is the distance 1 plus 1 plus 0.1 that is 2.1 and it is sagging. So, it will be positive. Now, I do not have to show you again. I think you have understood it is trying to push the beam downwards sagging positive. Second is 5 into 1.1. It is trying to push the beam upwards or lift the beam upwards convexity above negative hogging and this much UDL we have to take. We do not have to take whole only up to which length it is acting that is only to be considered. Students make mistake they take whole UDL that is it will take 4 kilo Newton instead of only 2 into 0.1. So, it will be this is 2 into 0.1 is what? Force and you have to take the distance. So, what is the CG of 0 0.1? 0 0.1 by 2 and it will also try to lift the beam in the upper direction it will be negative. So, you can get the value of bending moment at section x. So, 5.2 into 2.1 that is 10.9 minus 5 into 1.1 that is 5.4. So, we get 
4 minus 2 into 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 by 2 that is you have calculator yeah point zero one how much point zero one so that will be approximately five point three just calculate ten to please give me the answer for bending moment at section x and bending moment at point A will be equal to how much it is? 5.39 kilometer meters. Thank you. So, 5.39 kilo Newton meters and bending moment at point A that is equal to 0 because it is a hinge support. So, always at A and D the bending moment value will be 0. Now, we can draw the bending moment diagram. So, to draw a bending moment diagram, we have to take down the value of section x also. Uh, in the vertical downward direction as you can see all are positive. So, we have to draw above the baseline bending moment at point D 0, bending moment at point C it is positive 5.2. So, positive 5.2 suppose we have taken this as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, positive 5.2 over here and in between C and D there is no load. So, we have to draw a inclined line. Then bending moment at point B it is 5.4. So, 5.4 will be somewhere over here and again there is no load between B and C it will be a inclined line, it will be a inclined line and bending moment at point x it is again 5.3 and we can call it as 5.4, but it is UDL. So, we have to draw a curve. Okay we have to draw a curve and bending moment at point A 0 again A and x the loading is a UDL. So, it will be a curve. Okay. So, this curve we can show, show the confinement where bending moment is dominant, write down the values and as it is above the baseline take it as positive this is 5.39, this is 5.4, this is uh, 5.2 okay. and over here bending moment diagram. right? So, this is how you have to calculate the value of bending moment. Now, I will take uh, one problem in which we have got couple, so that you can know how to calculate the bending moment for a couple. So, we will take a overhanging beam and that overhanging beam is uh, subjected to a couple as well as a uniformly distributed load. Okay. So, to start with we take um, the loading or I should go for a simpler problem in which you can understand easily the only the couple I will take. This is suppose a cantilever beam and it is subjected to a point load and a couple and one more couple. Okay. So, suppose this is 10 kilo Newton force over here we have got 15 kilo Newton meter couple and again we have got 15 kilo Newton meter couple. Okay these are our points that is point A, this is point B, point C and point D. The distance is 1 1 meter we take it as because it is a cantilever beam. So, 1 1 and 1 meter. Okay. Now, you have to calculate the values of shear force and bending moment for this case. Again, we know that as we have got a cantilever beam 
we will have three reactions vertical reaction, horizontal reaction and a couple moment. Okay. So, we are assuming these all directions, I do not know whether the assumption is right or not, we have to change the direction if our assumption comes out to be wrong. Okay. So, to start with first is support reaction calculation, we apply condition of equilibrium sigma v is equal to 0. So, tan in the vertical downward direction negative, V d in the vertical upper direction positive that is equal to 0. So, V d that is equal to 10 kilo newtons. Second is, second is sigma moment is equal to 0. So, we take moment about support d. So, this is the point d where we are taking moment. So, first is 10 into what is the distance 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3, it is clockwise positive then 15 kilo Newton meter positive no need to multiply distance why because this is a couple moment itself it is not a force it is a moment so you do not have to multiply distance directly take the value and put it over here and see if it is clockwise positive if it is anti clockwise negative students make maximum mistake by multiplying it with the distance and the third is again a couple but it is in the anti clockwise direction. So, negative and we have got moment about d and we have assumed m d in the clockwise direction. So, plus m d that is equal to 0. So, 30 0 plus m d is equal to 0. So, m d value we are getting it as minus 30 kilo Newton meters right. Now, what I told you? that if you get a negative value that means our assumed direction of the reaction is wrong. So, in this case I have got a negative value. So, my assumed direction is wrong and m d will act in anti clockwise direction. So, I am changing the direction and showing m d in this direction okay. and we have to write our values. So, v d we have obtained it as 10 and m d we have obtained it as 30 kilo Newton meters. So, m d that is equal to 30 kilo Newton meters and v d is equal to 10 kilo Newtons. Okay. Now, we have to calculate the value of shear force. So, our second step is shear force calculation. I am writing S f calculation.